<laughs> You're no good heartbreaker. You're a liar and you a cheat. And I don't know why I let you do these things to me. My friends keep telling me that you ain't no good. But oh, oh, they don't know that I'd leave if I could. I guess I'm uptight and I'm stuck like you. Cause I ain't never, I ain't never. I never, never love and pain the way that I, I love you. <laughs> okay, that is the most, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. I got hell on me, so y'all please forgive me. That has got to be the most freaking... Um, one of the most, because there's several of them now. Um, codependent, um, being abused by a narcissist song that you ever, ever, ever want to get involved with. Riri. Oh, God. Riri. I already know what you was going through. So, which brings me to anybody who has ever, ever lived that song or been involved with that song. Surely your butt know by now that you need to work on yourself before you can even break loose from them chain, chain, chain. You had to break loose and you had to start working on yourself um, so you wouldn't be thinking that that abuse that was being perpetrated on you was love. Okay, I'm going to try to get serious for a minute, um, which is kind of hard because I was looking at one of my earlier shows that in fact this is what I want to um, um, I, I want to do I want to go over one of my uh, videos from back in the day and I'm going through the comments because y'all know I know a lot of times it takes me a while to get back to them but I do read and I try to go through every one and y'all know I got a lot of videos up there although it don't reflect and I see that YouTube is just knocking my friends and stuff and people that are, are regular listeners off in their comments. Like, you know, I've heard that from Universal. I've heard it from Jeb28. I've heard it from a few subscribers. And I want y'all to know uh, uh, who else? Um, uh, Arlo. I, and I want y'all to know it's nothing that I've done. I have not blocked y'all. Um, in fact, y'all, some of the, the subscribers that I've I noticed. They jump out at me because I've seen y'all names for a while. So, no, I didn't do that. I don't know what's up with YouTube. You know, it's very difficult to um, keep up with what they're doing. Maybe I'm just going to try to do some live streams. I know they're getting real, real apprehensive about what they allow you to monetize. And um, so, on one hand, that's kind of difficult. But on the other hand... Um, it, it's it's a little crazy when you see it that people are being dismissed for no earthly reason. I don't understand. But I'm trying to get to the bottom of it again. So, if y'all one of these people that, you know, don't see your comments, know that I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. No, I have not blocked you. Um, in fact, I appreciate you. But um, I really want to get back to this uh, particular video. And... What it is, it was called All Narcissists Cheat. And some of these comments I want to read. First, I want to put a disclaimer out. If I'm if I if you see me, hear me laughing, please know that I'm not laughing at your circumstance or your situation per se. And and if it's real, real touchy for you, then I know you probably like, what the hell would I be sharing this for? And you're laughing. No, I'm laughing because number one. I'm a little lightheaded this morning. And number two is I can't believe all of the craziness that the people that we have been involved with. And it's like, where does the rabbit hole end? So after a while, you have to flip it. Just like 
Um, to me, if you have your fist turned over and you see, you know, um, anxiety, somehow you got to flip that and flip it to, you know, excitement. You, you know what I'm saying? So that's hard because I that's something that I, I, I deal with. So now, I'm putting that disclaimer out there. So just in case I laugh a little bit, y'all, it's not because I think your situation and ha, ha, ha. It's because, like, really? <laughs> really you did this, a narc? Okay. So, I'm going to start with um, uh, this, um, um, again, all narcissists cheat. I might have to do this in two parts because it is so hilarious. And I've been meaning to do this for a while. And, I, you know, there's no time like the present. So, here we go. Um... Uh, Abinego, okay, in Mokiri, I don't know how to pronounce the first name, and I hope I didn't mess it up too bad, but uh, this comment was, smartness is, an important, is important in a relationship, and cyber hacking genius, I've never heard of it, help clone my husband's phone, <laughs> and I got access to all his dealers, both on the phone and social media without touching his phone. Now, that has got to be a genius, right? <laughs> All I did was share my husband's phone number with this cyber hacking genius, and I was able to read both his new and deleted messages from my phone without having to touch his phone. My husband was a cheating narcissist, and I'm glad to find out all his secrets with the help of cyber hacking genius. I'm here in the UK and able to access my husband's phone messages. <laughs> I'm able. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh God, wait a minute. Baby. Let me say this. Let me get through this. I'm able to access my husband's phone messages with a link on my phone. Even while he was away in Canada, cheating and flirting with his phone. I read all his WhatsApp, Facebook. And Instagram, Snapchat, Snapchat messages, including the deleted text and incoming messages. You can contact this great hacker, Gavin, via Gmail. <laughs> He's a cyber hacking genius. Or text to speak to him directly. Listen, 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 listen. Don't forget to thank you later. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. I understand that this. If you get what you need to get from doing that, to satisfy you, to know that that's the end game. See, when you have to do all that, once you do, then that should be the end of it. You don't need to keep do keep doing it. You gotta then you have to get away. See, um, so I wouldn't, you know, <coughs> I wouldn't want to keep doing it and entertain myself with this person's secret life and now that that life has been exposed i would get rid of them and the life and so you know that's how i will play that so that is very crazy um and that's how they make you crazy where you're gonna keep going on going and on and to me with all due respect i'm just saying that's enough enough is enough and once you found out that this person was just a dirt bag like Walter Lee Hampton found out that the person that they was with um, was sleeping all around and then they played like somebody else, Ooh, which is the most disgusting. I'm still on this Xavier thing because this is how crazy these narcissistic people are where they are living two lives and they're doing stuff to just actually ruin you. So once you find out that somebody tried to ruin you and kill you, I don't even know what's left. 
whether they try to kill you emotionally, mentally, spiritually, uh, physically, damn it. To me, it's all a death of some sort, and I have to get away from them if they don't make it final so I can find my life and, and, and try to live again. That's where it's got to go for me. Okay. Um, uh, Wells Henry said, they all cheat. That's plain and simple. I don't want to hear nothing else. They just all cheat. Okay. Plain and simple. Uh, triloquism video. Yes, they do. I remember my narc would spend nights out of the home. I found messages on Facebook. <laughs> They're just plain pathetic. <laughs> Jennifer Leffler said, you are so right. For 22 years, I believe my ex was faithful. <laughs> but I was so wrong. Uh, <laughs> okay. And I didn't and didn't find out until after the divorce. Wow. Total double life. Sounds like a great narc. Sound Janice? Sound like you had a good one. You had a good one, Janice. Um, okay. Check this out. Uh Miss Jer uh Jernifel said, great uh she said I she said great video. I left my ex narcissist husband and my emotional my emotional, physical, and spiritual life has improved so much. He was living a double life. It must be sad to be such a miserable person inside. Yeah. I, I've often wondered that, but they don't have enough, um, you know, wherewithal to even um, feel that emotion of being sad to even have be reflective like that. Okay? Um, you know, there's Sarah. Sarah said this summed it up perfectly for me. All these comments that these people are liars. One person named was Honey. Honey327 said, My ex narc would say, You're not making me happy. And I told him, Make your own damn self happy. Bye. <laughs> it's not your job. You're right. Um, uh, shield maidens and warriors of narcissism abuse. Thank you uh, for your kind words. Um, <laughs> okay, we gotta move right down. Uh, Tal Carey Eiffel. There, they fake illness, manipulation, lies for everything, everything, and, and and this is crazy. So you know you're not making up stuff. Marie Hazley said, this is all on point. Thank you for this video. May God bless you. Marie, thank you very much. May God bless you too, sister. Sam Wilson, on point, sister. <laughs> oh, you got screwed by one of them too? I got you, bro, because it knows no respect of person or gender. We all can get it. <laughs> I'll be back. With part two, y'all. <laughs>